All right, what's up everyone? Dave here with another exciting tutorial. And today I'm gonna to show how to do the infinite zooming canvas, okay? Now, in case you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm just gonna go ahead and play this example here. Um, you may have seen this online where people kind of zoom into an image and then I feel like there's a new image revealed and you keep zooming into that one and another one gets revealed and I'm, I remember seeing this, I'm like, my mind is blown. I'm like, how in the world is this possible? Well, I looked into it and I'm gonna show how to do that. I'm going to show a couple different apps that I'm using with the iPad to actually make this happen. So first off, um, the example that I just showed there was done with AI images that were created in mid-journey. Not that you have to do that, but I feel like that's the way that I did it here. Um, and you can see here's my uh, mid-journey account and you can see here's, um, you'll recognize a few of these images um, that are there. But what I did was I just um, saved these and then I emailed it to myself, okay? Now, I'm not just gonna waste time showing that, but um, then I saved it on my iPad and now you can see here's the iPad. But before I even get into that, here's the app that I'm talking about. It's called Endless Paper. Um, and so you'd have to download that. And I, I think it's actually $9.99 seems kind of pricey for what it is, but I feel like um, uh, there may be some free alternatives if there are, or if there's something better that you recommend, please leave it in the comments below. But let's go ahead and take a look at what we got going on here. So I'm just gonna kind of swipe up. And before I even get into that app, I'm gonna go ahead and procreate and kind of prep my images for um, endless paper. Now procreate is another $10 app. $9.99, but I feel like Procreate, if you like drawing, is the best app on the planet. It's probably, it's, I feel like it's the reason that I got the iPad. I love it so much. Um, so if I go ahead and launch Procreate, here it is. Um, now, if you're brand new to Procreate, you're not gonna have all these um, different folders and, and, and things like that, but I feel like uh, I'm just gonna swipe up from the bottom and I'm gonna drag my photos. Whoop. So swipe up from the bottom and then drag the photos to the, over to the side here. And I'm gonna kind of swipe like that. And you can see here's my um, images that I emailed to myself and then uh, saved. Now what I did was I just dragged one at a time like this, and that's how I'm importing them into Procreate. And then once I have them all, I'm just gonna take them and then drag them over the top of each other. And then they're gonna stack. And you can see it created a stack. Now, if I want to delete the stack, I just swipe to the right and hit delete. Okay. And I've already got a stack here. Okay. So now I can swipe over like that. And now I can see I'm just in Procreate. Now, great. So what does that mean? Well, I don't want to ruin my original images that I brought in. So I'm just going to swipe to the right and hit duplicate. And now I duplicated the stack. Okay. Now on this stack, um, I could click on this stack. And now I need to prep this stack for endless paper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here and I have to figure out where I want the next image to, the next image to be revealed. And I just need to erase the area. So if you think about it as um, kind of like creating a hole in your image. So what I did is I just click on the eraser tool right up here and now I have my opacity set to 100%. And I'm just gonna kind of zoom in here. And I'm gonna come in here and we're just gonna kind of erase like that. Okay, uh, th that'll essentially be the hole where that's going to be, um, it's gonna reveal the next image. And I can see here, if I turn off background color, I can still see if I look real close, you can see how there's a hole and I can see that kind of with a grid behind it. Okay. now. Now that I have that, I can go here to the wrench and then I can say share and then I'm gonna say a PNG. Now it's important that I save as a PNG here, not like a JPEG because a JPEG can't support that transparency, okay? So notice that I also turned off the background color, I just have that on. Now if I come here and if I go to PNG, I'm exporting and I'm gonna say save image, okay? Now, when I did that, if I go back to my photos, okay, I can see here's that latest photo. And it's gonna be kind of hard to tell that there's a hole in the eye, uh, depending on 
how you create the hole, but you know it's there and you know it's saved as a PNG. It should work just fine. Um, so then what I did is I went through and I determined each one where I want this uh, to be. So let's say on the Indian Chief here, I zoom in. I'm going to take my eraser. I just kind of go like this. Turn off the background and then save as a PNG, save as an image. You get the idea. Okay. I also might want to come up with a game plan of the order that I want this to be. Now, you don't have to do this here, but I feel like I did. So I just kind of went like this. I just said, okay, that one's first. Then I think it'd be cool to maybe go into this one here and then maybe this one here. And then I kind of like the fire idea. So I went from, I think this one here um, to this, this one, oh, this one here and then to this one. And I don't think I even use the other two. I mean, you can kind of experiment around with however you want. But again, I just went through and erased little dots. But if it's going to end, and I think I believe I ended on this one, I don't have to erase on this one because there's obviously no hold to end on. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave this guy alone. Okay, now what? Okay, so now that I have those, and assuming that I you know prepped them all properly, now I'm going to go into my app, Endless Paper, and again, let me see if I can find it here. Okay. And a little trick, if you can't find it, I can just swipe down and you, I can start typing end. There it is, endless paper. Now, if I click on that, okay, there we go. It's a little creepy. I'm going to zoom out. Uh, zoom way, 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 way out. Okay. So this is just one that, um, that was created already. Um, but let's take a look at this. So unfortunately, you're not seeing the entire interface. I feel like how this is set up, uh, for whatever reason, Endless Paper isn't really showing um, the whole thing. It thinks I want to record the video. But um, I'm going to go ahead and bring in. OK. Um, so I just did split screen here. And aha, there we go. Now I can uh, I kind of cheated it so I can see the whole interface here. Now what I did was I brought in, I started in the back. So in other words, the last image. So I want this guy to be last. I can just drop him in here. Okay, great. Now the next image was this guy, I believe. And I think that this is the one with a, a erased hole. So if I come in here, now when I have this guy, I can bring him, zoom him up. Okay, and you can see that I, have his nose on this example I have the nose cut out and I can just kind of position it like that and let's say if you had extra like that what I can do is I can actually take I can come over here and I can select a color let's say a marker and I can color like that you know the background um, okay and you can start to see that soon I could kind of get in there and, and look just at that guy. Okay, now I can zoom this guy out and I can put another one in there. So now let's say I want, um, I don't know, this Indian chief. And now I can zoom him up. Boom, like that. And when I'm, when I'm happy with that, if I want to finalize that, I just tap out here and I hit lock. And now I can see that he zooms in and then I can come here and then again, this zooms in, okay? So again, really cool stuff here. And um, I can zoom this guy back and now I can do another one. So let's say maybe this guy. And I can see, um, no, actually, it looks like this guy. Um, this is what's going to happen. So I erased, but I forgot to turn off the background so you can see what see what happened there. So if I did that, I could, um, I would have to delete this guy. So I think I would just hold on this. Then I would tap once, and then I would hit remove. Okay, there we go. And then you can see I just imported that again. And I believe this guy has the, yeah, the eye truly cut out. And sometimes I make it even bigger like that. And then I'll hit, um, well, actually, before I do that, I'm going to just 
Now if I hit lock, there we go. And now you can start to see. Okay, again, really, really cool stuff. I could zoom this guy out and, and you get the idea. Now, what I did, and this is kind of weird, but if you zoom way out, um, I should be able to find other ones that I've done. It's kind of weird that on the interface on Endless Canvas, um, it seems like you can't save like different projects. So what I've done, if I want to do another example, I just kind of move off to the side and, and do another one, okay? Um, so that's kind of bizarre. Um, if anybody knows a better way to do that, go ahead and again, leave it in the comments below. Um, and normally you won't see this line, this line going around here. I, again, it feels like, I think it thinks that I want to record uh, because I'm uh, wirelessly projecting to my desktop computer here. But I feel like, um, so that won't normally be there. But then I feel like another um, thing was, wait, how do I record this? Because I feel like I can see they have a broadcast button at the top, um, the top corner of the screen. But I feel like that didn't really seem like it worked. So what I did was I used um, um, an app called Mirroring 360. That's how I got my iPad to go to my desktop. Then what I did was I just, um, when I was full screen in Endless Paper, and I'm just gonna kind of collapse the, um, when I collapse the images, you'll notice that when I go full screen in here, it's going to be where that border is. Um, so if I go like this, I can see that it kind of goes full screen there. And then what I did is I just kind of filled it like that, okay? Then I used Camtasia to then record my screen. And then I just moved on my iPad like this to Con, you know, it can continually zoom in. Again, there's probably a better way to do that. And again, if you know a better app for that, please let me know in the comments below. But I feel like I just wanted to kind of get the conversation started about this cool idea of this endless scrolling. Again, this really doesn't have much to do with um, the AI images. I mean, this could be done with your own images. This could be drawn images. This could actually be photographs. It doesn't really matter. Um, you just have to bring those images in, erase a little bit of them, save it as a PNG, and then you can bring it into Endless Canvas. Hopefully you found this helpful. Make sure to like and subscribe for more tutorials, tips and tricks every week. Awesome. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.